In this video, we're going to go over how to start a Bluebeam Studio session inside ProjectWise. Here we have a PDF. So if we right click the PDF, we'll get the option to start Studio session. Now what this is going to do is open a Studio session inside ProjectWise, where we can invite external users and internal users to mark up this PDF. Here in this demonstration, I am using Review 2019, but this can work in any Bluebeam version that we have. Here in the top left corner, we can see that it's automatically logging us into ProjectWise. Now we need to fill in some information about our studio session. Here we can name the studio session whatever we'd like. In this demonstration, I'm going to use the PID number with the, from the project, and I'm going to use the county and the route. Here we can see the file name and path to the file in ProjectWise. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Here we have the invitation list. We can copy this invitation by clicking this button here. We can do a plus sign to add an email address externally. Or we have the address book if we want to invite an internal user. So here I'm going to go ahead and invite a user. Now to add the user, we just need to double click on their name. And we can add them down to the to list here and hit OK. Now you can see that user has been added to the session. Down here we have the option to add a message. And then we'll get verification, so go ahead and hit OK. Here on the left side, we have the document that we've checked out in our session, so we we'll click on that. Now, if you actually go back to ProjectWise, you can refresh the view here and see that the PDF actually has a red check. So that does show I checked it out. So no other changes can be made to it. Next, we're actually going to do a cloud. So we we'll click on the cloud button here. And we're just going to cloud an area to show that uh, we need some modifications done. So down here in the bottom left, you can see the record of me adding a cloud, some notifications if there were any. Up top, we have the attendees. Currently, it's just myself, but you can have multiple attendees who can do cloud and sheets. So what we're going to do is actually close this session. So we click the final session button here in the left, top left. Here, we can actually click Save, Overwrite Existing. And you can do a report. Um, you can just check this off if you don't want one. But I'll show you what it looks like by clicking that on and then hit OK. Now, the override existing is actually going to override the one in ProjectWise and save it with the changes. So we're going to hit OK. Now, to check this document back in, we're going to have to go up to the top here and then click the exit. So we're going to close that document. And then we'll get that ProjectWise dialog saying, Hey, check in, update server copy, whatnot. So we'll check that back in. And here is an example of the report where it just shows messages of what was done to the actual document. You can save that inside ProjectWise as well. But we're just going to close that out. Now, if we go back to ProjectWise, we can take a look at that PDF and see that it's checked back in. Here, I'm going to do it open as read only just to show you if the changes were actually implemented. And here we have those changes.